Who is this uh, unanimously nominated Chief Justice uh, candidate, reformer, overcomer, and relentless are just some of the attributes that could be used to describe Lady Justice Martha Kome. Renowned for the reforms she introduced to the court as a tireless champion of child children's rights, Kome has distinguished herself as a judicial officer. But as her accomplishments bear witness, her soft speech belies a fierce determination. Olive Burroughs shines a spotlight on the woman on course to becoming the next Chief Justice. Should President Uhuru Kenyatta endorse her nomination as Chief Justice and Parliament give its nod of approval, Lady Justice Martha Kome will become the first female Chief Justice of the Republic of Kenya. The, the judiciary has been in existence in Kenya for over a century. We have never had a woman Chief Justice. There are some who are saying, now we want a woman to be Chief Justice. Justice. I will not be gender driven in such an important process such as this. The most merited person, be it a person of disability or whatever, is what I think JSC would go for. And when she appeared before the Judicial Service Commission to interview for the job of Chief Justice, Kome sought no special favors in the form of tokenism. None of the attributes of our, my being a woman or being a man would do anything in the office of the Chief Justice. It is the leadership skills. One of three female candidates who were shortlisted for the job of Chief Justice, Lady Justice Kome showed herself a proven reformer. Participating all the way from Kamukonji, uh, Ufungamano, and I was a delegate at uh, the Bombers of Kenya. I'm proud to be associated with the 2010 Constitution. Having served as chair of the Federation of Women Lawyers in Kenya, better known as FIDA, Kome continued her reformist campaign in her 17-year career on the bench. Internationally recognized for her efforts to make the justice system child-friendlier. I've just completed a very uh, good exercise, very delicate and very important on um, uh, preparing a report on the state of uh, children in the administration of justice. And for that, I was acknowledged by the UN becoming the runner-up person of the year uh, 2020. Beyond her work in the family division, Kome said her performance spoke for itself when it came to managing the backlog that weighs heavy on the judiciary's shoulders. Our bench in Nyeri is credited to have cleared the entire backlog and brought the station to real time. And that was a feat that has never been achieved anywhere in the Commonwealth. And her ability to work well with others, Kome posited, would serve her well when it comes to relations with the other two arms of government. I'm very amiable uh, to work with. Raised by a mother who worked as a peasant a farmer in a family of 18, Kome has beaten the odds to come out on top on more than one occasion. I also got married early. I was a young mother trying to balance a career. And she credits a culture of hard work instilled in her from her formative years. I was very close to my mother. Uh, so I learned um, hand work from her, prayerful. She was so prayerful, she would pray for us, kneel down until our knees really showed the marks uh, for prayers. And it's this determination not only to succeed but to excel that the 60-year-old born in Meru's Kidyo village promises to bring to the role of Chief Justice. Olive Burrows, NTV.